All right, we will uh, begin with any closing statements from parties who have previously signed up to speak. Uh, we are going to begin with uh, Dr. Carl Peckman from the National Regulatory Research Institute. Um, I would ask that each speaker um, speak about for about three or, or four minutes. You will be on the record, and the court reporter will, will take your comments. And just so we could have the next person on deck, it will be J.B. Howard, who could speak from the other podium. Dr. Peckman. Thank you, and, and thank you for uh, allowing me to share several very interesting days with all of you. Uh, Given the questions and the, and the level of uh, engagement to the Commission, uh, I really understand how my colleagues at NARUC, uh hold this Commission in such high regard or why they hold it in such high regard. So it's a pleasure to be here. As I was uh, thinking through the day yesterday, um, there are, are lots of moving parts here, obviously. And the one that's of most interest to me is uh, the question of what is it that we want and how do we get there? And this was raised during the panel yesterday. And I think that in general, um, if we poll people, there's a general consensus of what folks are interested in in terms of the future. They're interested in a uh, resilient system uh, that's low carbon or no carbon. Uh, that's reliable, that's affordable, and that's fair to both customers and to uh, the utility and to uh, competitive providers. I think that's a very general statement uh, that many folks in the room would agree to. Uh, the question is, how do we get there? And in particular, how do we get there while aligning rates uh, there are going to be many different kinds of mechanisms that are going to be proposed and, and things of that sort. But underlying the issues that we're dealing with is that there's going to be a lot of investment going on in the future. There's going to be a radical change in the way that we deal with customers. And at the core, at least in my mind, of how we get from here to the future is a planning process that somehow will become more aligned with the rate process. How that happens is going to be subject to more regulatory deliberation. But I think that we do know that an open planning process will be a critical ingredient or a more open planning process. <clears throat> so I would like to recommend to the Commission that it establish, that it request the utilities to provide a plan on how they will create an open planning process similar to what the Exxon utilities had indicated would be aligned with a future uh, test year proposal. But I would also go further than that. Um, as somebody who spent his career in regulation, I try sometimes to put myself in the shoes of, of, of a utility executive. Some might say I haven't been very successful at it, but let me give a, give a try and say at least in this particular instance, the utility executive would say, why should I have an open planning process? What's in it for me? It's going to cost me money. Well, I think that the Commission should, should assure uh, return, the cost recovery of dollars spent on the part of the utility for creating an open planning process. And beyond that, I think the Commission should give the utility an open planning process, in my mind, creates, in a sense, an intellectual capital that will guide the system going into the future. And critical is the word capital there. And as a capital asset, I think that it's not unreasonable to allow the utility the opportunity to rate base that capital and to earn a return on that capital. Not for 30 years, maybe somewhere between 5 and 10 years. So in addition to requesting the utilities to provide a plan for how to open up their planning process, I also would suggest opening up the idea to allowing the return on capital if that's a, if that's a mechanism that the utilities should prefer. Thank you. Thank you for your participation, Dr. Peckman.